Kamarjoba, but on the other side, the Madloba studio, the Stomrobistuis region, the Stomrobistuis. Irwell Rikshi, my dad, it had to be a visit to Mise. This is his first summer vacation. Thanks very much for your invitation. I think for me it is important not to be in Tbilisi all the time, but to move out and into the regions on a regular basis, because only uh, uh, by moving out you get to know the country much better, by you, you, you're able to build more bonds uh, if, if, you, if you reach out. And for me it's not the first visit to San Miguel. Uh, the focus this time was um, first Mestia and then Sugdidi. So Mestia, um, um, I went there because we opened an Austrian book corner in a small school there. This is one of our initiatives. We have an Austrian library in Tbilisi, but we want to reach out into the regions and the north has been missing so far. So we managed now to find a partner with a small school in Maseri, which we could provide with Austrian books. And we hope that that will help the students to learn better the German language. And the second uh, element that I did there was um, I opened an exhibition, um, an exhibition about Bertha von Suttner. Bertha von Suttner, as you know, uh, is, a, is the first female uh, Nobel Peace Prize winner and is Austrian citizen. But, and that's the um, uh, link to Georgia, she lived uh, many years in Georgia, including in Zugdidi. So we have shown this exhibition a while ago in Zugdidi and now we thought it's time to bring it to Mestia. So we opened it and so invited everybody who is in Mestia to go and visit it the next two weeks. It's in the, in the museum. And my third element in Mestia was uh, the visit of some greater projects, um, um, some development cooperation programs, but we might talk about it a bit later. And then I came, no, and then I came yeah. to Zugdidi. I'm not finished yet. So I okay. came to Zugdidi because, of course, uh, Zugdidi is the capital of Samigrela and because we have a great cooperation, not least in the context of Bertha von Suttner. So I had talks here to see how we can uh, increase our cooperation even more. I was with the governor, I was with the mayor, I was with the university. Uh, I was in Austria, and I was in the history of the Urtirto Bis moment, and I was in the Zutneri, and I was in the Nishnolovani, and I was in the Trans Smenilipsama, and I was in the Austria, and I was in the Sakartos, Thirty years is still a short period, um, so we are celebrating thirty years of the re-establishment of diplomatic relations. But of course, the relations between the Austrian and the Georgian people are much longer than these thirty years. So, I think it was a very successful period. We managed to build a lot of bonds. I mean, you opened an embassy in Georgia, uh, in Austria. We opened an embassy in Georgia. Uh, we had a lot of high-level visits, uh, not least uh, uh, President Azura Bishvili visited Vienna last October. We have a, a good uh, exchange of, of visits um, on, on, on ministerial level. Your um, uh, foreign minister will be in uh, Austria next, next week. Um, so that is one element. We have built economic relations. This is uh, something that had had, uh, had witnessed a dip now because of the COVID, COVID pandemic. But I think there's a huge potential. I mean, Georgia and Austria seem to be a natural fit. We are countries of a similar size. We have the same topography. We have mountains and all this. You have the advantage of having a sea, uh, seaside as well, which what we don't have. Um, so um, there's a huge potential also in developing in the economic field, in the area of you know um, climate change adaptations in terms of um, uh, mountain tourism, mountain infrastructure, uh, agriculture, um, um, sustainable energy, so um, smart cities in all these areas is where we try to push forward with our common agenda. And of course we have a lot of bonds, we have Austrians living here, we have a lot of Georgians living um, in, uh, in Austria, um, in the medical field for instance, the doctors that um, are studying in Austria, staying in Austria, coming back here, so I think there's a huge potential we can build on in also for the next 30 years. 
ევროკავშირის ქვეყნები დიდ დახმარებას უწევს საქართველოს ასოცირების შეთანხმების ფარგლებში ევროკავშირთან დაახლოების გზაზე იგულისხმება ფინანსური მხარდაჭერა პროექტები რომლებიც ასევე ჩვენს რეგიონებშიც ხორციელდება ამ თვალსაზრისით რომელია ის პრიორიტეტული მიმართულება რომელსაც ახლა აქცევს საელჩო დიდ ყურადღებას და რა იგეგმება სამომავლოდ Well, uh, I think we we have many many activities, and it would be too long to um, to to talk about all of them. But let me take out maybe two. Um, one is uh, the cooperation in the area of uh, development cooperation. Our development agency is very active here. We have just uh, handed over a new strategy uh, for the years to come that we have developed together with our Georgian partners. So the Austrian development cooperation will continue focusing on. rural development agriculture and local governance and uh, one key area of the uh, key project is the so called greta project which is a co-funded project by uh, the european union sweden and austria in with austrian elite where we try to develop mountain uh, uh, organic farming mountain agriculture um, uh, sustainable mountain tourism in the area of svaneti um, part of Imereti and uh, Raja and well what we do there is basically we try to support guest houses uh, we try to support farmers so that they can uh, increase their uh, 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 productivity uh, and and create more more income yeah and basically help them to uh, to 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 increase their st standard of living and according to best european practice and Another area which I would like to mention which is very often a bit uh, underestimated is the so-called EU twinning. So this is I think one of the best instruments that the European Union has to bring administrations closer to European standards. This is basically uh, funded by the European Union but it is sourced out to um, to a certain institutions in EU member states that then are working in partnership with their Georgian counterparts um, in very specific fields. to um, to basically make the necessary legal amendments but also the best practices to bring them closer to the to the so called EU acquis ახლა ჩვენ მთელი კოლექტიური დასავლეთი და ანუ მსოფლიოს მნიშვნელოვან გზის გასაყარზე ვიმყოფებით უკრაინაში მიმდინარე ომის ფონზე თქვენ უკვე რამდენიმე წელია საქართველოში ხართ და აკვირდებით აქ მიმდინარე მოვლენებს 23-24 მაის ივნისს იგეგმება ევროკავშირის ლიდერების სამიტი და ომში მყოფი უკრაინა მოლდოვა და საქართველო ელოდებიან პასუხს კანდიდატ ის სტატუსის მინიჭების თაობაზე. რა თქმა უნდა, ამაზე არავინ არ დაობს რომ უკრაინაში მიმდინარე პროცესების გამო დაჭარდა, უკრაინაში მიმდინარე მოვლენების გამო დაჭარდა პროცესები, თუმცა როგორ ფიქრობთ, რა შანსები აქვს საქართველოს ევროკავშირის მხრიდან ხელისუფლების მიმართ გამოთქმული შენიშნების ფონზე, როგორ შეაფასებდით გზას, რომელიც ამ ეტაპამდე გაიარა საქართველომ და როგორ ფიქრობთ, რა რამ შეიძლება უფრო გრძელი გახადოს ეს მანძილი ევროკავშირ I think we we are all looking to Brussels today because it's a big day for not only for Georgia but it's a big day for uh, Ukraine for Moldova and for the European Union because we expect today the opinion of the European Commission and I cannot prejudge I have no clue what the commission will say I will read it with interest as you will probably read it with interest and I do not know what the recommendation will be and of course I do not know what the heads of state and government will decide next week uh, in the European in council but there's one thing that i can say uh, and that it, whatever the outcome is it will mean a lot of work european integration is a very difficult long and tedious uh, work that needs a national effort um, not only for georgia but for everybody else i can tell you that the that in my country we, we exceeded in in 95 it took many years of negotiations and uh, we needed uh, in in austria the the big 
parties at the time agreed to form one great grand coalition to, uh, to work together towards that aim yeah? because you need a broad consensus you need a lot of support a lot of work in Parliament um, so uh, it is not uh, for one party to uh, to to work towards that and the other one are watching it is a national effort that is needed uh, to move forward on on this so um, you get a lot of support from a, um, a lot of member states, from the European Union, from the European institutions, but ultimately it's the work that you need to do. It's not that we can give you support and uh, do not expect uh, an integration process to, to be very fast because it is about meeting standards, it's about values, it's about uh, uh, bringing your country uh, into a situation that you can also be a valuable member of the European Union so that will take many years probably and uh, it will require also some tough reforms here in Georgia as it, as it required for Austria yeah? and you know what the, the EU is, has been criticizing over the last couple of months so the area of rule of law for instance is very very crucial for us so here we expect that progress is being made uh, so that you, uh, um, and, uh, that uh, Georgia can progress on the European path. Not found that dress, well, a person can be killed to Ukraine, she mean dinner, oh, Miss Context, Sitch and Head of Tura, Dahmar, Basuts, Evs, Collector, Dasaulet, Ukraine, Russuli Aggressist in Amdek Brzola, she, Europuli Paseolo, Bebista, Ukraine, Europuli Momalis, Dasat Savat. I'm the Nader Sulovania, La Europa, I'm the Narchun de Bais Muhti. In short, very united and very determined. And I think this was one strategic mistake that was uh, done in Russia, believing that uh, the EU will be split. Of course, there are discussions, and we've seen that with the sixth uh, package of sanctions, because the argument is uh, very valid. We want to, uh, we do not want to impose sanctions that hurt us more than Russia, but I've rarely seen such a determination, a joint determination of the European Union and we have a long breath and we will not give up. Chen Twen Trans Region Shiara Hart Pirola Dragots Mid Harit Da Itsit Chen Regionis Potentiali Missi Gadzli Rebis Shesad Leblo Beb Sarashi Heda Tra problem with Ina Shedgas Regioni Romosets Administratsuli Hazi Hobbs so Kupirabula Hazetan. I think this region has a lot of potential and uh, I'm saying that not because I want to be polite, because I really believe it. I mean, look, you have, what, what can you offer? You have the seaside, you have agriculture, you have mountains, high mountains. So um, I understand that you want to build tourism. That's a perfect place and I would recommend anybody to come to Georgia and in particular also to San Miguelo because it's so beautiful. Um, and you have, of course, an economic potential, not least also with the, um, as in, in general, Georgia as, as a transit hub. Uh, so I think there is uh, a lot of potential, not uh, also after the COVID crisis, when we um, when I learned a new word, where, where, Austria, where companies in Europe want to near shore. Yeah, so they, they have to look at the, uh, at the, uh, at the delivery of the, of the goods that they need and they might want to come closer. So I think this is a, a potential for um, for Georgia because you, first of all, already um, very closely linked to the European Union, also economically with a, a, a free trade agreement. Uh, and uh, I think a lot of co companies will come here. I mean, a lot of companies are leaving Russia now, uh, European companies, so they might look for other opportunities. So I think this is a very good chance for you and maybe one thing I would like to mention because I haven't mentioned it yet um, a couple of months ago there was an MOU signed between San Miguel region and the Austrian Bundesland Tirol so um, we are also trying to build on that one so that we can uh, uh, link up the two regions that look very similar um, and um, see how we can strengthen uh, our cooperation and in the end also strengthen your, your, uh, your region. 
სხვა დახმარებასთან ერთად რასაც საელ შეუწევს რეგიონს უნდა აღნიშნო ჩვენი პროექტი ჩვენ წლები აქვთ თანამშრომლობთ აფხაზ პარტნიორებთან და ვამზადებთ ერთობლივ მედია პროექტს სხვა სხვა საერთაშორისო დონორების დახმარებით ამჯერად ეს მოხერხდა ავსტრიის საელ შეუს ხარდაჭერით და ეთერში გადის ქართულ აფხაზური გადაცემა და დიდი მადლობა ამისთვის რომ ხარდაჭერას ხარდაჭერისთვის დიდი მადლობა იმიტომ რომ მსგავსი პროექტების განხორციელება ძალიან მნიშვნელოვანია დე ფაქტო რესპუბლიკაში ახლა მიმდინარე მოვლენების ფონზე ეს უფრო და უფრო რთული ხდება და აქვე მინდა კითხოთ რეგიონულ მედიაზე რამდენად მნიშვნელოვანია ძლიერი რეგიონული მედია როგორ ფიქრობთ და რა შეიძლება გაგეცდეს მისი გაძლიერებისთვის well let me start by saying i think media in a democracy is the fourth power um, a democracy needs high quality and critical media to balance out and and control also the executive um, and you need that both on the national and on the regional level uh, today we live in a in a world of disinformation and many people live in their bubbles of social media uh, twitter facebook and so on where uh, basically we see a lot of stereotypes misperceptions um, so i think it's extremely important to have a high quality media also on the regional level because you as on the regional level you are much closer to the population you have a you uh, uh, have a um, you know better what the needs and the worries are and i think it's extremely important to have regional media that correct that, that stereotypes that contribute to mutual understanding and um, basically help building a strong resilient democracy ხატნელჩო დიდი მადლობა მინდა გითხრათ სტუმრობისთვის და რადიო ათინათის სახელით ასევე დიდი მადლობა ავსტრიის საელჩოს მხარდაჭერისთვის მე კი წარმატებებს გისურვებთ მადლობა მადლობა